The Softing Gateway MB Gate PA allows for a simple connection with Profibus PA devices to modbus controllers. Up to 64 Profibus PA devices can be connected to virtually any kind of controller. In the following video, we briefly guide you through the Modbus configuration in Unity Pro, for example, to connect Profibus PA devices to an M580 controller from Schneider Electric. In order to set up Modbus registers in Unity Pro for read and write operations, you require the HTML report from the MB Gate PA. How to generate the Profibus configuration and the HTML report can be seen in the video Profibus configuration with MBGate PA. Open the saved HTML report in an internet browser, in this case Chrome. The report contains the created configuration including the parameter settings and the Modbus mappings. Navigate to the configured device. Here you will find the register allocation of the input and output data for the configured slots. Input data is mapped to input registers, output data is mapped to output registers. The data of the device is stored one by one on the registers. The data of a module can start or end on the high or low byte of a register. This is indicated by H for high and L for low. Also in the report, the register is displayed on which the status information of the device can be found. A detailed description of the status information can be found in the user manual. In the following, we will show you how to set the Modbus register in Unity Pro to read the status information of a device in the input data of an AI module. To do this, open the Unity Pro application. We already inserted the controller into the project and configured it accordingly. It is a Modicon M580. Create a function block diagram in your Unity Pro project. Using the FFB input assistant, add a communication function read underscore VAR. The address of the Modbus server must be entered in the ADR parameter. The IP address of the Modbus server in the MB Gate PA can be found on its web server. In the Internet Browser's address line, write the IP address of the device. You will be prompted to log in with your username and password. You can find the login information in the user manual. Switch to the Modbus TCP configuration in order to see the set Modbus IP address. In Unity Pro, the ADDM function is used to convert a character string to an address that can be used by communication functions such as read underscore EAR. Enter the IP address of the Modbus server accordingly. TCP.MBS stands for Modbus TCP. The object type dominates the Modbus address area of the register. For input registers, this is according to the IEC standard percentage IW. In the NUM parameter, the initial register must be entered from which you want to read. You can find this in the HTML report. In this case, this is 8. 663. The number of registers to be read must be entered in parameter NB. The status information occupies one register. In the GEST field, the management parameter is defined. This is used to manage communication functions such as read underscore VAR. Enter percentage MW100 colon 4 for this. 
As you can see, the parameter is marked as faulty. In the project settings, go to variables and enable these two options in order to use dynamic arrays. For the output parameter RECP, create an array variable which should contain the read data. The length of the array must be adjusted. To read the input data of an AI module, the generated communication function read underscore VAR is copied. This must be adapted accordingly. Check the Modbus mapping of the input data of the first AI module in the HTML report. It can be seen that the data starts on register 0 and occupies the first two registers as well as the high byte of the third register. Adjust the start register and the number of registers to be read accordingly. Define a new management parameter. Create a new array variable with the necessary length for the output parameter RECP. To execute the two read underscore VAR functions once, activate the optional input EN in the two functions and add a function block R underscore TRIG. For the input of the function block, a variable is defined and the output is connected to the input EN of the two read underscore VAR functions. Both functions are executed once, as soon as the input of the R underscore TRIG function block is set to 1. In the following, we will show you how to set the Modbus register in Unity Pro to write the status of the Profibus Master. It is possible to change between Stop and Run mode. A detailed description of these two modes can be found in the user manual. In your Unity Pro project, create another function block diagram. Now use the FFB input assistant to add a communication function write underscore VAR. The address already defined for the read underscore VAR function can be selected as the address. In the object type field, percentage MW has to be entered for the holding register according to the IEC standard. The status for the Profibus master of the segment PA1 is mapped to the holding register 8628. The number of registers is 1. Create an array variable in the EMIS parameter. This is used to describe the data to be written. The length of the array must be adjusted accordingly. Define management parameter. To execute the function once, Activate the optional input EN and add a function block R underscore TRIG. Define a variable for the input and connect the output accordingly. The write underscore VAR function is executed once as soon as the input of the R underscore TRIG is set to 1. Now build the entire project. Connect to the PLC. Transfer the project to the PLC and activate the option to run the PLC after the transfer. In the following, we will write the PB master status and read the status information and input data. In order to do so, select the parameter to be written and the input variable of the R underscore TRIG block. 
initialize a new animation table by right-clicking on one of the two selected parameters and selecting the corresponding option in the context menu. Change the value of the variable to be written to 3. This corresponds to the run mode. The writing is executed as soon as the input variable is set to 1. Next, the status information and the input data are read out. Change to the corresponding function block diagram. Select the input variable of the R underscore TRIG function block and the two variables that contain the data. Initialize a new animation table by right-clicking on one of the selected parameters and choosing the corresponding option in the context menu. Reading is executed as soon as the input variable is set to 1. Change the display format of the last register of the input data and the status information register to hex to better interpret the data. The high byte of the status information is the so-called life sign. The value is incremented by 1 with each successful reading of input data from the device. The low byte describes the operating state of the device. The value 4 means that the device is in cyclic data exchange. The high byte of the third register of the input data contains its status. Hex 80 means good. The first two registers of the input data correspond to the value. Repeated reading shows that this data changes. This concludes the Modbus configuration with Unity Pro and MBGate PA. Further information can be found on our website industrial.softing.com. Thank you for your attention.